All right, guys, today we are going to be teaching you how to set up the metabolic cart and specifically the parvo machine to do VO2 max tests um, right here. All right, the first thing you're going to do is turn on the computer and turn on all the machines. And the application you're going to want to pull open is True One. So you click on that, and that's the screen that should come up. All right, the first uh, power button you're gonna turn on is right on the back of the machine, that one. And the second button you're gonna turn on is the pump here. You should see this dial go up and this light come on. All right, so next we gotta calibrate the machine. To, to do that, you're gonna get the three liter calibration syringe and the tube. The tube gets plugged in right here to the mixing chamber and then the other end of the tube gets plugged into the syringe and on the computer you're going to hit flow meter calibration input the temperature barometric pressure and relative humidity from the black box right over here so as we can see, it's 22 degrees C, 740, and 14% humidity. So those are entered incorrectly. And we can go ahead and sample baseline. All right, so first we're gonna do a detection flush. So pull the plunger all the way out and then push it all the way back in. All right, next we're gonna do four flushes. After you've done the four flushes, you're going to do five strokes. These are all at different speeds to get the um, pneumatac uh, calibrated to different flows. So the first one's going to be slow, then it gets faster, faster, faster. So you can see this little dotted line. That's the line you're trying to hit with each stroke. All right, and you see how it gets a little bit higher now. So now I gotta go way faster. And you're looking here for this difference value. You want that to be less than 5%. So as you can see, 1.7. So we're in a good range, so we can go ahead and hit save. The next calibration you have to do is gas calibration. So go ahead and click this button. Same thing as before, input uh, temperature, barometric pressure, and relative humidity. And then it'll instruct you to turn on calibration gas to three PSI. So you're gonna look down on the side here. This is the cow gas. It's very simple. All you have to do is take this black handle and turn it 90 degrees. And that's it. And once you've done that, just go ahead and click okay right here. It's sampling room air. And now the computer will tell you to turn off cow gas. This is a step a lot of people forget to do, so it's really important you turn off that cow gas. All right, and just pull that firmly. And then when you're done with that, go back to the screen and click OK. OK. And now we are done calibrating.